Let's see how we can create this type of list in Flutter by using List View Builder. So in this go, in this uh, video tutorial, we will see how to create this type of list by using List View Dot Builder. Let's see how we can create a horizontal scrollable list. So here you can see I have a uh, blank screen, I have a, a boilerplate code, and here I have a data file. So in this data file, I have a class, class named item and I have declared four items. So here I have name, description, image and price and here I am creating, I have created a constructor and here in this data model class, I am, uh, I have created this class for showing my items and this items is basically uh, initializing the field which I have declared here. So let's create our uh, horizontal list so in scaffold widget i will create a list uh, i will create a list view builder list view list view dot builder so in list view builder i will pass context so context is refers to or uh, this context method and the next thing is how many items we have to show here so i will simple uh, pass my uh, length of the item which i have in data dot dot file so i will say data models please uh, pick the length of items according to the index number say so here so the next thing is what i have to show in the item builder so i want to show my item uh, that how my item would look like uh, so in this uh, widget i will uh, create a new widget so i will return first and create this widget item show so item show widget is basically is used to show that how the items would look like so let's see how items would look like so let's create a stateless widget item show so this is our widget and create a variable final and access the class which i have declared here so here item this is our class which i have declared here create the constructor and replace this okay so in container i will uh, create a column widget basically uh, i want to show total two items i uh, image and my image name so in uh, container uh, column edit we will initialize the children and image basically uh, i'm using asset image asset image so here i will uh, initialize the uh, image which i have in my class file so this is uh, this will access my image so the next thing is uh, i will define my height of the list so i will set 500 and i will also define my uh, image height so image height would be 200 and uh, width and height would be 2 to 100 okay so here it's showing an error uh, i have to pass here the argument which i have in here so in argument we basically refer our data model class which i have here so here i am referring data model class and items so 
I am creating basically a widget, a widget uh, which is item show and in item show we are passing our data models dot items class which I have here you can access this class in the description link from so when I will run it it will show a list uh, so let's create uh, it is showing an error so what the error is okay so the basically the error is uh, image accessing error so we will uh, replace this list view builder with container and in container i will set my height and width 300 and width 300 okay so uh, what the next thing i want to show here run it and now i will run it again okay so what is the service unable to load asset oh so basically uh, uh, i have images in network format so instead of network a uh, asset i will uh, pass network image so now it will work it will works so i will run it again hope so this times error would be removed so you can see here uh, my images are showing here but i cannot scroll them so for scrolling uh, i will go to my list view builder and here i will define scroll scroll direction and exist dot horizontal so i want to uh, scroll in horizontal direction so you can see that now i can scroll them easily so i also want to uh, show a title here so i will replace this with uh, uh, children elements so i can use multiple items so the next thing is text and i will pass horizontal list okay style text style font size 30 okay and what the next thing is i also want to uh, display the uh, name of the cell phone so i will create another video text and in text with i will pass my name of the phone which i have in here class so run it again okay so you can see here uh, okay let me add a space here size box height 300 okay okay you can see here i have a, a list but it is uh, looking uh, like not stretch it is uh, items are looking together so i will create uh, we, we have another property in list view builder that is separated so by using separated we can uh, separate our uh, list of the item which we have here so here a separated builder and in separate builder we have a context element and index and then in index what i want to return so i want to basically uh, create a size box size box and i want to give the width okay so run it again it will uh, add the width here you can see here okay so i also uh, want to increase the size of the element the size of the names 
so i will pass style text style font 20 okay or uh, next thing is i also give the space between title and now it is completely fine okay so in this way we can create our list so here here's our list you can create by uh, using list view builder and by uh, list view dot separated we are giving a uh, space between them 